Hello everyone, welcome to Igula Yopna. I am Hosanna David. I want to ask us a question, especially you that is watching right now. Jesus Christ tells us in Matthew chapter 6, 25 following that we shouldn't be worried. Now the question is, for all this while you have been worried, thinking about your problems, thinking about your bills, costing yourself your sweet sleep of the night. A lot of times you don't sleep, you have developed uh, high blood pressure. All these troubles you've cost yourself because of worries. What has this worry done for you? Nothing, absolutely nothing. We are not wiser than God. Jesus Christ said, we should be worried about one thing, that we should seek his kingdom and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto us. Emotionally, it is hurting you. Psychologically, physically, your health, it is destroying your health. Spiritually, it is affecting your relationship with God. It is causing you uh, uh, your growth in the spirit in the Lord so why don't you leave worries alone God has given me the grace I'm not praising myself but since I gave everything to God I don't care about what happens tomorrow I care about today make plans about tomorrow and I commit everything into the hand of God I don't worry I don't bother myself at all not at all I have problems, but I tell myself every time, I met problems in this world. I am not going to eradicate all the problems from this world, and I will leave the problems in this world. I can only do my best and leave the rest. And not just that too. I have a mission in this world, and my mission is to fulfill my destiny, to do the will of God. So I'm not going to allow those problems to stop me from accomplishing my mission in this world. I don't know what you see in life that makes you to uh, think that you are the only person suffering in this world. Everybody is suffering, even the rich. If you go close to them, if they open up to you, you will know that they are not even enjoying. There is nobody that has no problem. But don't allow the problems. Destroy your, your peace of mind and cause you to live in pains all the time. If you have ever seen a calabash on, on the sea, if you have any, ever seen something floating on the sea, or the river, despite the storm, they, like the lettuce, they still get to their destination. Why? They turn all the troubles, all the waves, all the calamities in the river, they turn everything to music. So they dance, they dance along the wave and the turbulence of the sea. You can find joy and peace in your trouble if you allow the king of kings, the prince of peace, to come into your heart and bring that government of peace into your heart. If you stop focusing on your troubles and stop looking at Jesus Christ, if you stop looking at the waves, the way Peter was looking at the waves and got distracted. If you stop behaving like that and start looking at Jesus Christ, you will find peace in your heart. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and share this video. It could just help someone that is in trouble. It could just lift somebody up. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.